welcome i welcome you all to this lecture in the course sandhi in paninian grammar in this lecture we continue studying ach sandhi or vowel sandhi we said that ach sandhi is broadly classified into two first ekasthanika ekadesha and second dvisthanika ekadesha we have already devoted some time to study ekasthanika ekadesha ekasthanika ekadesha means one sthani ek sthani one substituent and ek adesha one substitute we have also studied in detail the two instances of ekasthanika ekadesha namely yan sandhi and ayavayav sandhi yan sandhi is stated by the sutra eko yanachi and ayavayav sandhi is stated by the sutra echo yavayavah we studied these sutras and their meanings in detail we also studied the template examples we also then studied carefully the specific examples of these templates we also studied some additional statements which make the treatment exhaustive we also noted that amongst the multiple rules we cannot study all but we tried to study majority of the cases then we moved towards dvisthanika ekadesha this is the second broad classification within the ach sandhi dvi sthanika ekadesh dvi is two sthanika having two sthanis so two substituents ek adesh one substitute this is what we are studying right now the second classification this classification is facilitated by the adhikara sutra ekah purva parayoho we already studied this sutra this is 6184 and this has got two words ekaha one one of ek meaning one so ekaha means one substitute and purva parayoho is 6/2 of purva par previous and latter so purva parayoho means in place of previous and latter sound what ek purva paryoho means is one substitute takes place in place of two sounds notably previous and latter diagrammatically it can be shown in this manner where you have a plus b and they are in the samhita mode in close proximity which means that a comes immediately before b and b comes immediately after a in such a situation rules in this particular section 6184 onwards up to 61112 they apply and the substitute that comes in place of both these substituents is c so a plus b is the input and c is the output c is the adesha a and b are the sthanis we said that there are five instances within this second classification the first one is guna sandhi stated by the sutra ad gunaha 6187 we studied this sandhi and the sutra and its meaning in detail earlier right now we are studying this second instance of dvisthanika ekadesha which is vriddhi sandhi the sutra stating this is vriddhirechi 6188 then we have pararupa sandhi stated by the sutra engi pararupam 6194 which we shall study next then we have savarna dirgha sandhi 
stated by the sutra Akasavarane Dirghaha 61101. And finally, Urvarupa Sandhi stated by the sutra Ami Urvaha 61107. So let us focus on Vriddhi Sandhi. And we have already studied Vriddhi Rechi 6188, which means in the close proximity when immediately before H, that is A, O, I and O, <coughs> if A short or long appears, then in place of both H and A comes the substitute termed Vriddhi, namely A, I and O. I repeat, in the close proximity, when immediately before H, that is A, O, I and O, when immediately before H, a short and or long appears, in place of both of them, H as well as A, comes the substitute termed Vriddhi. Vriddhi means A, I, O defined by Vriddhiradha H, 1, 1, 1. So, to put it diagrammatic, to put it in the form of an equation, we can say that if we have A plus H in close proximity in the Samhita mode as an input, 6188 applies and in place of both A and H, A and H, we have Vriddhi 1 substitute. H, it is to be remembered here, is part of H, the condition for 6187. And this is the overlap of scope of application of rules. And since the scope of application of 6188 is part of 6187, in this particular smaller scope, 6187 does not apply. And H is the condition, so 6188 applies. The other sutra in this regard that we have already studied is 6194, Engi Pararupam. What this means is that immediately before a verbal root that begins with Eng, and Eng is A and O, and immediately after a preverb that ends in short or long O, in place of both, one substitute in the form of letter takes place. I repeat, immediately before a verbal root that begins with ing and immediately after a preverb that ends in short or long a, in place of both of them, one substitute in the form of letter takes place in the Samhita mode. So if we have a preverb ending in a followed immediately by a verbal root that begins with either A or O, then this 6194 applies and the output generated is A O in place of A plus A and O. So we have an example, pra plus ejate, pra is a preverb, eja is the verbal root to tremble. So pra plus ejate and now this is the preverb ending in A. This is the verbal root beginning with A, they are in close proximity, Samhita, and so 6194 applies and the output generated is pra a jate pre jate. So if you notice this a plus a or o is also the scope of Vriddhi Rechi 6188. However, 6194 has got a restricted further restricted domain of application. So amongst H, A and O is a smaller domain. Within that, we do not need any A and O, we need A and O at the beginning of a verbal root. So the scope is further restricted. And also this A, as far as 6188 is concerned, this A could be anywhere, part of any element. In 6194, we need this a to be the final part of a preverb. 
and only then it will apply. So in this case where the domain of application or the environment is restricted, 6194 takes precedence cancels 6188. Then we also studied Ittyadhatyutsu which further applies in further restricted domain and cancels 6194. We studied it in detail, detail in the last lecture. Now in this lecture we shall study some other sutras related to the Vriddhi Sandhi. In the sequence, first we shall study Atascha. This is 6, 1 and 90. Atascha has got two words in the sutra, Ataha, Ataha and Cha. Ataha is 5, 1 of art. Art is an augment, cha means and. The words continued in this sutra are achi, seven one of ach, immediately before a vowel, continued from the sutra iko yanachi. Then vriddhi, continued from 6188, vriddhi, one one of vriddhi, and eka purva parayoho, one substitute in place of two earlier and later, previous and later substituents. So the sutra means and in close proximity and in close proximity when immediately after the augment art appears any vowel then in place of both of them place one substitute termed vriddhi and I repeat and in close proximity when immediately after the augment art appears any vowel in place of both of them place one substitute named vriddhi. Now let us take some more information about art. What is art? The art augment is added before a verbal root which begins with a vowel. In the past tense forms, imperfect past and other past tense forms such as lung, lung and rung lakar, when they follow, art augment is added. Now selection of substitution is based on the proximity on the, of the place of articulation, artisture. So here are the examples. The first one is a plus at plus a plus the. All these examples they are of imperfect, namely lung lakara. A is added. This is art, which is added before the verbal root at when there is this imperfect tense denoting suffix following. So we have a plus at plus a plus the as the derivation stage and then this a and a they both come in samhita. So this derivation is happening within a pada. So now a is followed by a and in this case Atascha applies. We shall study that A plus A is the environment for Akasavarane Dirghaha to apply, where you have A followed by A and the output is A, the Savarana Dirgha. Now, in this particular case, however, we will have Vriddhi. Although the output is A, the fact is that this is generating the vriddhi substitute and not just the savarna dirgha substitute. So a plus at plus a plus the and you have the form a tat. Similarly when we have a plus in the plus a plus the and we have a followed by e in the samhita mode. 
So, this is the scope of application of Ad Gunaha 6187 and so generally the output generated would be A in place of both of them. But because this A belongs to Art augment, Atascha applies 6190 and the output generated is Vriddhi. So, the selection of the substitute, we have three substitutes A, I and O. Now, in place of A and E, A's place of articulation is Kantha, E's place of articulation is Talu and amongst the three A, I, O, only I has got the place of articulation namely Kantha Talu which matches with both and therefore I is the substitute that replaces both these substituents and so finally we get the form I Dat. This is one substitute that comes in place of A and E. Similarly, we have A plus E ksh plus A plus T. Once again, we have A followed by long E. Once again, this is the scope of application of gunasandhi ad gunaha and A would be the resultant form. But because this A belongs to art and therefore Atascha 6190 applies and in place of both these substituents, now we will follow the same procedure for selection of the substitute and I will be the substitute. So, we have I kshata, I kshata that will be the form generated by application of 6190. Then we have next A plus Ubj, A followed by Ubj. Here we have A plus A plus U in the Samhita mode. Once again, this is the scope of application of Guna Sandhi 6187 and the output generated is would be O. But because this A belongs to Art, so 6190 applies and we have O as the substitute. So, the place of articulation of A is Kantha, the place of articulation of U is Oshtha and amongst the three substitutes A, I and O, only O has got Kanthoshtha as the place of articulation. So, O is selected as the substitute in place of both A and O. And so, the output generated is Aubjat, Aubjat. Then we have A plus Edha plus A plus Ta. Here we have A followed by A and here Vridhirechi has the scope of application and also then we also have the other substitutes taking place, other sutras getting applied, Etyadha, Tyutsu, etc. So now we have A plus Edha and because this A belongs to art, so we have I as the substitute. Finally, A plus own. Here we have A followed by O in the close proximity in the Samhita mode. And in this case, once again, we will have the substitute O and we will follow the same procedure to select the substitute. And so the output generated will be O N T O N T. So, if we observe in all these cases where we have different different kinds of inputs, akasavarani dirghaha, adgunaha, and then vruddhirechi, etyadhatyutsu, etc., these are the scope of application of all these rules. However, because this A belongs to the augment art stated exclusively to the vowel beginning verbal roots when suffixes like lung lakara following or lung lakara or lung lakara following. So, a very very special domain and therefore the sutra atascha applies and it cancels all such other rules and the output generated is vriddhi which is shown over here. This is Atascha, 
a very very important rule atochi pare vruddhire kadeshasya now let us move to the other rule upasargad ruti dhatau another rule stating the vruddhi substitute in this sutra there are three words upasargad ruti and dhatau upasargat is 5/1 of upasarga upasarga is a preverb so upasargat is immediately after the preverb ruti is 7/1 of rut rut denotes short ru vowel ru so ruti means immediately before short ru dhatau is also 7/1 of dhatu dhatu means a verbal root so dhatau means immediately before a verbal root so here we have two words in 7/1 and so obviously dhatu is the qualified ruti is the qualifier ru is the mention of a sound and also in the seventh case and this is also the qualifier so in this case once again we apply the paribhasha yasmin vidhis tadada valgrahane we have already studied this before and so ruti dhatau means rukaradau dhatau a verbal root that begins with ru the words continued are ad immediately after a short or long from ad gunah 6187 also vruddhi 1/1 of vruddhi vruddhi means a i n au stated by the sutra vruddhi radaich 111 and eka purva parayoh one substitute in place of two substituents earlier and later an important rule to remember over here which we have studied earlier is urandra paraha 1151 what it says is that the unsubstitute stated in place of ru appears with consonant r added to it r paraha i repeat the unsubstitute stated in place of ru appears with consonant r added to it this is urandra paraha which plays a very crucial role in this particular sutra so to put it together the sutra upasargadruti dhatau would mean in close proximity that is samhita when immediately after a proverb preverb that ends in a i repeat when immediately after a preverb that ends in a appears a verbal root that begins with short ru then in place of both of them namely a and ru substitute vruddhi i repeat in close proximity samhita when immediately after a preverb upasargad that ends in a at appears a verbal root that begins with short ru ruti dhatau then in place of both ekap purva parayoh substitute vruddhi vruddhi so we will have a as a final element of the preverb immediately followed by a verbal root that begins with ru and in this case ad gunah will apply and we have already studied examples of this and then we have r as the substitute however in this case when this a is part of the preverb and ru is part of the dhatu upasargadruti dhatu would apply and would generate r as the output so we have upa plus ruchati where a is at the end of the preverb ru is at the beginning of the verbal root ruch and so the output generated in place of both this a and ru is r so we have up r and chati upa is a separate pad ruchati is a separate pad and we get the sandhi up r and chati so the vruddhi substitute is a and this a is part of an so it becomes r par having r added to it afterwards so we have the output 
उपार्छती सिमिलरली प्र प्लस रुच्छती प्र हैज गॉट अ एट द एंड फॉलोड बाय रु एंड वंस अगेन दिस सूत्र सिक्स वन नाइन्टी वन अप्लाइज एंड जनरेट्स द आउटपुट इन द फॉर्म ऑफ प्र आर क्षति प्रार क्षति वंस अगेन दिस प्र प्लस रुच्छती इज द एनवायरमेंट फॉर द गुण संधि टू टेक प्लेस बट सिक्स वन नाइंटी वन इन अ रिस्ट्रिक्टेड डोमेन वेर दिस अ बिलोंग्स टू अ वर्बल रूट वेर दिस अ बिलोंग्स टू अ प्रिवर्ब एंड रू बिलोंग्स टू अ वर्बल रूट ओनली सिक्स वन नाइंटी वन अप्लाइज एंड गुण संधि डज नॉट टेक प्लेस नाउ लेट एस गो टू द नेक्स्ट सूत्र वा सुपी आपी शैले हे सिक्स वन नाइंटी टू रिस्ट्रिक्ट द डोमेन ऑफ सिक्स वन नाइंटी वन फर्दर वा सुपी आपी शले एंड दिस इज एन ऑप्शनल रूल एंड इन दिस सूत्र वी हैव ऑल्सो द मेन्शन ऑफ अनदर ग्रमेरियन कॉल्ड आपी शली ही इज द प्री पाणिनियन ग्रमेरियन देर आर थ्री पदर्स इन द सूत्र वा मीनिंग ऑप्शन सुपी इज सेवन स्लैश वन ऑफ सुप दैट इज इमिडिएटली बिफोर सुप आपिशले हे सिक्स स्लैश वन ऑफ आपिशली इन व्यू ऑफ आपिशली द ग्रमेरियन वर्ड्स कंटिन्यूड आर उपसर्गाद फाइव स्लैश वन ऑफ उपसर्ग दैट इज इमिडिएटली आफ्टर अ प्रिवर्ब रुति सेवन स्लैश वन ऑफ रुत शॉर्ट रू एंड रुति मीन्स इमिडिएटली बिफोर शॉर्ट रू धातव इज सेवन स्लैश वन ऑफ धातु धातु मीन्स अ वर्बल रूट धातव मीन्स इमिडिएटली बिफोर अ वर्बल रूट ऋति एंड धातव दे बोथ आर इन द सेम केस सो धातव इज द क्वालिफाइड ऋति इज द क्वालिफायर दिस क्वालिफायर इज द वन साउंड अपियरिंग इन द सेवेंथ केस सो वी अप्लाय द परिभाषा यस्मिन विधिस्त दादावल ग्रहणे एंड सो ऋति एंड धातव मीन्स रुकारा दौ धातव अ वर्बल रूट बिगिनिंग विथ रू एंड वी फर्दर एड सुपी टू इट so this supi becomes the qualifier of dhatu because this sup does not indicate one sound this will not be supadau so this will qualify dhatu and then put together all these three words would mean a verbal root which is a sup root a verbal root derived after a sup and which begins with ru immediately before that verbal root this sutra applies and substitute takes place some other words that are continued from the previous sutra are ad gunaha from ad gunaha we have at which means immediately after a short or long we have vriddhi from vriddhirechi one one of vriddhi which means a i and au and of course eka purva prayoho meaning one substitute in place of two earlier and later substituents of course urandra paraha also continues i mean of course urandra paraha is an important sutra which plays a important role in this sutra what this means is the unsubstitute stated in place of ru appears with consonant r added to it so the meaning of the sutra vasupyapishalehe is the following in the close proximity in view of the grammarian apishali when immediately after a preverb that ends in a appears a verbal root that begins with short ru and which is derived from a sup in place of both substitute vriddhi optionally i repeat in the close proximity in view of the grammarian apishali when immediately after a preverb that ends in a appears a verbal root that begins with short ru and which is derived from a sup so in place of both of them substitute vriddhi and substitute it optionally so for example if you have a at the end of a preverb followed by a verbal root that begins with ru but 
internally it should have a SUP. In this case 6192 applies and generates the output optionally as R or R by default Gunasandhi also happens here. So optionally R or R in place of A and Ru. So the example is Pra plus Rishabhiyati. Pra is a preverb, Rishabhiyati is the verbal form which contains a sup inside which is shown over here. So we have Pra plus Rishabhiyati and in this case Upasargad Rati Dhatav does not apply. Vasup Pyapi Shalehe applies and in place of this A and Ru we have optionally R and R both. So we have both the forms Prarshabhiyati where Vriddhi substitute takes place and Prarshabhiyati where Guna substitute takes place. Guna substitute is anyway stated by Adgunaha and this Vriddhi is stated by this particular sutra. Both these forms are optionally derived in the Paninian grammar. Rishabhiyati is the sup dhatu form. So Rishabhiya is the verbal root and this is derived by adding the sup suffix to Rishabha. So we have Rishabha plus sup followed by ya suffix. Now this unit is called a verbal root followed by this verbal suffix lat, in between there is the vikarana pratyaya a and so we have got the form rishabhiyati. So this is the sub pratyaya within this verbal root and that is the reason why this is called subdhatu and in such a case the vriddhi substitute takes place optionally and when it does not take place the by default guna substitute takes place. To summarize, in this lecture we studied in detail the other rules related to the vriddhi sandhi. Earlier we had studied the sutras vriddhi rechi and then ityadhatyutsu and then several vartikas over there. In this lecture we studied the other rules namely Atascha, Upasargad, Vritidhatav and Vasup Pyapishalehe. We also studied remaining part of the examples in details at different levels within a pada and also in between two padas. We also studied the interrelation of 6187 and 6188 and also 6194. We also observed that 6189 has further smaller domain of application within that of 6194 and so 6189 reinforces 6188. We also noted that there are further smaller domains of 6189 which cancel 6189 and in a way also cancel 6188 and 6194. Now we study the next instance of Dvisthanika Ekadesha namely Pararupa Sandhi. The sutra is 6194. We shall do this in the next lecture. Thank you for your patience.